The city is conducting free drive through testing for COVID-19, open to the public tomorrow. Jen Boniza has details. Testing will begin at 8 a.m. here in Kaka'ako along Ilalo Street. Ilalo Street will be closed between Ward Avenue and Coral Street. Officials are asking people to avoid the area unless they need to be tested. The only way we're going to get out of this and get to the other side is through testing. Mayor Kirk Caldwell announced the plan to conduct free COVID-19 screening from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. Saturday. Anyone who plans to come is asked to follow traffic directions to avoid backups. You must enter Ilalo Street from Ward Avenue and Alamoana Boulevard. From that point, you will proceed down Ilalo Street. From there, you will be asked questions to see if you fit the criteria. Do you have a dry cough, fever, or upper respiratory systems? And have you recently returned from a trip including neighbor islands? Or do you work in the healthcare profession? Or work in a high traffic tourism industry? If you do not fall into any of these categories, you will not be tested. If you do qualify, you will be directed to turn left into Kaka'ako Gateway Park. The first stage you go through is you will have a temperature and you will have what's called a pulse oximeter put on your fingertip. That will be temporary there that talks about your oxygen level and your pulse level. Miskovich says they will take two swabs, one in each nostril. He says it shouldn't hurt, but it can be uncomfortable. After the test is taken, you're going to self-quarantine yourself until the results are returned back to the doctor. And at that time, they will call you to tell you whether you tested positive or negative. I want to repeat, that is a condition to being tested. Caldwell says it will take about three to five days to get the results back. More than 1,500 are expected to show up. Miskovich says roughly 400 will likely fit the criteria to be tested. Miskovich says that they do plan to do drive through testing at other neighborhoods across the state and that they plan to do drive through testing here in Honolulu again at a later date. From Kaka'ako, Jen Boniza, K2 News, working for Hawaii.